paper records, we have lots of charts in the office. You can't find charts. Every time a patient calls, every time you have a lab that comes in, etc., you always had to pull the chart. We very vividly remember paper records. Uh, couldn't find what you wanted if they could find the chart at times. Couldn't read the handwriting of my own or other partners. And uh, it was frustrating because you couldn't get to the data and information you wanted easily. I hated these charts that kept stacking up and some of these charts became so thick that trying to pick up these charts to figure out what John Smith's illnesses were two years ago, it became very cumbersome. Within the last six months we've converted from a paper record to an electronic record. We access our patients' records through a computer a desktop in each of the exam rooms. Um, everybody has a secure log on. We access our uh, medical records through uh, a tablet system. I like having the tablet. I can just sit and pull up the electronic medical record and I can actually see their history. I can go down the list and pull up a visit without having to flip through paper chart. I will be the first to tell you it's not been easy. I think physicians don't understand what the challenges are. They don't understand how big a step it is. Outside expertise would have been helpful to us. We did have in our contract with our provider a certain number of hours of training. There wasn't a lot of that support and hindsight you know, we need more of that now than what we get out of our EHR provider. When you're trying to translate your processes from paper medical records to electronic medical records, it was very difficult because I realized the processes were not the same and we had to refine those processes and we had to get to a point where we could be efficient. Yes, there are incentives. There are governmental incentives and it's a, it's a stepped graduated incentive program, so you have to meet a certain standard within the first year and so much more in the second year and so much more by the third set of years. The incentive program through high tech in, in meaningful use require doctors to meet certain levels of use and transmission of data through an electronic health record system starting in 2011 and the incentives declined from there over the ensuing years. Ultimately, what the government wants is that if we have a patient that we see here in Kentucky and they're on vacation in Florida, that that patient's medical records would be available in Florida and not just here in, in Florence, Kentucky. Meaningful use is a list of standards that the government defines um, in order to get all the government incentives to help you ultimately pay for your EMR. So that's where HealthBridge is going to come in and the Regional Extension Center to help us move to meaningful use. And I think that is really where, that's where we're trying to get. That's where we're trying to get as a community. That's where we're trying to get with Aligning Forces, is to create these systems that allow us to measure what we're doing. Regional Extension Centers, as a value to practices, um, help doctors put a process in place to get an electronic record system up running and functional to meet the requirements of meaningful use in a non-biased way. I would have loved to have had extra added help with a regional extension center, not only in um, uh, choosing an electronic medical record, but also in implementing the electronic medical record. Well, HealthBridge has provided us a lot of services that have helped us take care of patients better. One day I got a result of a CAT scan on a patient and uh, knew she was nervous about it and as it came over, saw it, read it and noticed it was normal and called her up and she was worried because she was still in the parking lot of the hospital and I was happy to be able to you know, take care of making sure she knew it was normal that fast. Physicians don't want to change. We don't, nobody likes change and nobody wants to be told to change. But somebody said recently to me that it, change is going to happen. You have two choices. You can either be at the table or you can be on the menu. And so I think I'd rather be at the table. This is about patient care, and if our ultimate goal is to ensure that patients get the best care we can possibly give them, and that's really what we're supposed to be doing, we want our patients to do well, we want them to have great outcomes, well then this is what we really have to do.